Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a TCL script for checking reachability between each router and uh, an interface in the network and any interface in the network whether it is physical or logical in this scenario we have three routers router R1, R2 and R3 each one of these three routers is configured with uh, a loopback interface or loopback interfaces which are logical interfaces used to simulate networks so normally from router R1 I should be able to check reachability with any interface on router R2 and the same for router R3 uh, in some situations this task is time consuming because it requires a lot of time to ping every interface so it's better to use a script and the script will have uh, as main objective to ping every possible IP or interface with an IP address so let's see how to start so the first thing we do is open notepad notepad is uh, very simple and then I'm going to build my script. That's a very simple how it starts. I will write TCL shell. This is a TCL script. After that, the keyword for each, and then I can write the name, for example, my addresses. I open bracket or a parenthesis. Now for that, I'm going to write down the IP addresses to which I want to ping the IP address on router R2, IP addresses of interfaces on router R3. So let me just start with the, with router R2. So the first address would be the IP address of the physical interface, 172.16.0.2. And then after that, I'm going to write down the IP addresses of the loopback interfaces on router R2, 10.0.0.1, 10.1.1.1, 10.2.1.1, 10.3.3.1 So I'm done now with router R2 I will move to router R3 <coughs> This is the IP address of the physical interface on router R3 and these are the IP addresses of the logical interfaces So let's start 172.16.0.3 and then 172.31.0.1 172.16.0.2 172.31.2.1 okay so uh, I'm done with this now I will close the parenthesis here I close it I open a new one I write the keyword pink and then I, a dollar sign and then I add the name that I give to this series of IP address my addresses so this is a variable and you can change the name you can put any name of your choice so here I'm going to put it back just right after the dollar sign and then I need to close the bracket I need to close the parenthesis uh, sorry now what I do I will copy I need to copy always first select after that I copy and then I move to router R1 I open the console to R1 now from the console of R1 I would paste. I would paste my uh, script. Then I press enter. When I press enter, you see how pinging is done. So it's really it avoids to consume time for by pinging to each interface. So it will do it automatically, one after the other one. Now you see all interface to which which are pinging, to which are pinging are replying and this shows that there is everything is working fine well sometimes you can add more features for example here you can uh, specify for example the number of time you want to repeat this ping for example repeat 100 times the size of icmp packet let's say would be 1 512 byte the source interface will be for example the ip address of interface little back one we can do that so again I select all this all this script I copy it I copy it I go back to router R1 console and of course I have to exit from here TCL quit uh, let me just remove reset my terminal and then I'm going to paste my new script 
script where I have added a repeat number of time, ping will be issued to a specific IP address on particular interface, the size of ICMP packet, 512 bytes, the source of the traffic will be, or it's like the traffic is originated from loopback interface 1, so all ICMP packets will have their source IP address, the IP address of loopback 1, instead of having the source IP address, IP address of the first Ethernet 0 slash 0, knowing that we're doing all this process from router R1. Now let's see how it behaves. I press on enter and let's see. So for each destination or interface, you have 100 replies to 100 requests. Now the size is 512 bytes. Actually, this is the size of the ICMP packet. The size of ICMP packet. And this is the destination. The timeout is two seconds. And the packet sent with the source address 192.168.1.1. This is the IP address of loopback one. So like this, you know how to uh, automate pinging to every interface on the network after finishing configuring your routers with the suitable uh, routing protocol or after you finish the task that you are required to achieve. Thank you for viewing this video. This is Hakim Atish. Bye.